This is Chris Spiker. I'm Aaron Goldstein. We are here with our third guest, Jim Moran from Lamar Outdoor Advertising. Hey, welcome, Jim. Thanks, Chris. And you've been promoted. Yeah, it was on April Fool's Day of this year, so I was a little <laughs> nervous till I got the new business cards. <laughs> the cards came in, and, and hopefully more than 25 cards. <laughs> yeah, 30. 30 yeah, cards. Excellent. Vice President and General Manager. Lamar's been in the Antelope Valley for a long time. A long time. It started, it, originally it was Martin Outdoor, and then the largest acquisition in billboard history was, well, Chancellor bought Martin, and then Lamar acquired Chancellor, and it, that was the largest billboard acquisition in the U.S. at the time, I think since, too. It was wow. a billion dollar acquisition. Yeah. That's when uh, Lamar came to the Antelope Valley officially. It, it is not just a local company, but you have a local presence. Well, that's interesting too, Chris. Yeah, we actually are a 116-year-old company. We have over 200 offices around the U.S. and Canada. We have something like 3,400 reps across the country and 200 offices. And yet, the Lamar of the Lancaster is still feels like a little, little hometown shop, right? And so we, even though we do business from you know the Antelope Valley to the Victor Valley, up the I-15 corridor to the Nevada state line and all the way up the 395 corridor to uh, Bishop and Mammoth and all those communities in between, um, it's great to be headquartered right here in Lancaster in the Antelope Valley. Yeah. You know, you think Bishop's the middle of nowhere. No, for the people who live there, it's in the middle of everywhere. But exactly. If you had a sign on 395, rhetorical question, what is that worth? Well, it's, it depends on, you know, who the advertiser is. One of the beauties of being with a company like Lamar is we have both national advertisers like McDonald's and you know everyone in between and you know Budweiser you know you name the national advertisers uh, Chick-fil-A but then you have also the local mom and pop business because it's still affordable and so up through the 395 corridor you might get something like uh, the smokehouse barbecue and chop shop in Mammoth yeah. uh, great guy named Alone or you might have uh, the mountain with half a dozen or more boards, the Mammoth Mountain, and then you've got McDonald's blended in the mix too. So you get a really good variety of uh, customers up through there, like Eric Schatz has been around forever. Right. And uh, so it can be anywhere from five, six hundred a month to fifteen, sixteen hundred or more a month. That just struck a nerve. Uh, I mean, a thought. It's like, so it, you could get a, a board, and you could be in the company of McDonald's and Budweiser. That's right. To name a couple. Exactly. And all of a sudden, I would think more people are paying attention to these signs. Well, it's interesting because a lot of times we'll get a question like, give me a testimonial. And I say, look, get in my car with me and I'll drive you around. Right. And just a, a market ride is a testimonial because you've got people like uh, McDonald's, people like the Paris Law Firm, um, UAV, you know, everybody in between and so it's people who aren't just giving us money because we're friendly right they're giving us money because the product is effective and efficient and it works and in fact there's a great story um, it's kind of top of mind is what you're creating exactly yeah. and that's the main thing it's top of mind awareness there's a thing I, I latched on to 12 years ago when I got in the business as an AE it's called reticular activation right it's that little piece of your brain at the base of your brain where when you see something all of a sudden, it's everywhere. It's like when you go to, you're thinking you're buying the very first white Honda Accord ever made, right, at the dealership, right. and you drive it off the lot and you see 45 of them in the first 20 minutes. Right. It's reticular activation. All of a sudden, it just becomes present. And so, a lot of times, what will happen is um, somebody will, like a solar company, will come on board. Or back in the day, when we used to uh, have, when the home builders were on, uh, at a record fever pace, right, you could ask somebody who, tell me three uh, home builders on a billboard, and they'd inevitably say KB, Beezer, and Pulte, and because they, they were the ones advertising, but there were 20 of them. And so it's really great to have that kind of um, presence and awareness and, and, and brand building capability. I was walking you down the hallway here at the radio station, and I kind of wondered if, you know, this was uh, friendly territory. And uh, you, you do a lot of cross-promotion with the radios, and you, you're you here because radio works. That's right. And I've never been a competitor basher like that. I think that's silly. I, if I find out, if I ever were to find out one of my account executives were doing it, I'd let them have it, right? Because yeah. um, my, in my prior life before coming to Lamar, uh, some people know this and some don't, but for a couple of years I ran Rex Paris's law firm. I was his business manager. 
And, you know, Rex told me more than once that uh, even when he was starting out, he began his business with billboards because at the time they were inexpensive and yet powerful and they really helped build his business. And when I was at the law firm, I've kind of got a, a, a history of sales and marketing and account management. And so that was the first time I, I gained some general management experience was on the other side of the desk as the you know, buyer, not the seller. And I got to see how when you can get a variety of media, the media mix really is powerful. And I've always believed that that sight and sound imagery of the billboard and radio is one of the most powerful pairings. Who was that genius that brought you over to Lamar? Well, what happened was the rep, I still have my, my heart. Serious question. <laughs> well, my heart has always been, you know, sales and marketing and not necessarily being the leader of a law firm or manager of a law firm. And then, uh, so my rep at the time was this guy named Patrick who went back to Kentucky, became a general manager back there. And then Todd Porter was out here. Todd hired me and uh, we worked together for years. He recently moved on to another uh, Lamar plant and, uh, the rest is just history. It's, it's just a great company. Yeah. We were talking about Mammoth Mountain 395, and uh, the other day you showed me a picture of the new hat. Yeah, the beanie. The beanie. So what's the story of this beanie? And it's located in? Uh, Big Pine, in Big, Big Pine. Pine, California. So that's really crazy. That The beanie nearly won an Obie Award that year, which is like the top honor in the ad business. And I think it placed third, actually. And I can't remember what one, but it wasn't as in good. In a as town of 1,200 people. It's crazy. Yeah. We, um, so, and it's really a unique opportunity. It'd be very difficult to do that anywhere else because of the combination of it being the 395 corridor and, and w how Big, font, Big Pine sits. But basically, we just took the, the head structure of the billboard off. They, they developed this beautiful design. And then every year, we actually disassemble it, carefully disassemble it, bring it back get it repainted uh, and re-decaled uh, and then take it back up and it, this this next one is uh, just put up the other day and it's uh, really cool and so and people will stop and take pictures with it yeah. and it, it's become a real a brand a powerful brand image for the mountain. How many people drive by that sign in a year? In a year I bet probably um, that's a good question it's probably in the order of I bet there's 20,000 a month, so maybe a quarter of a million people a year. And it doesn't seem like that big of a number when you compare it to something like a freeway here in Lancaster or right. in LA, yeah. but that's a target rich audience. I mean, yeah. most of those people are heading to the mountain. Discretionary income. Big time. Big time. Yeah. And they're going to buy all the stuff from all the other billboards. It might be more than that because they'll have, uh, what, 15 or 20,000 people on the mountain on a weekend. Exactly. Yeah. It's, you know, yeah. it, it is really is, uh, I mean, I just threw that out there. I'd have to check my check my, my charts and graphs. I'm just making it look even better than you said. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. that too. Because we have busy streets here that have 20,000 cars in a day. That's right. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, it's really powerful. And then, you know, you combine that with that's why you get then the restaurants, the retail shops, the, the goggle customers. You get really the, the uh, occupancy goes to next to zero or 100% occupancy, zero availability during the ski season because yeah. all of those boards just get gobbled up. Yeah really cool. That is cool. Yeah. So you have boards available. Yeah, we do. We have boards available. We've got some of our digital inventory with some occupancy on it, some boards around town. You know, there's a couple of different kinds of billboards. There's traditional static billboards that have, um, you know, one advertiser ongoing. Mm. And then you have the digital, which is a number of different advertisers. And um, they're bought sometimes long term, sometimes short term. And then you have, in, like for example, in Antelope Valley, we have about 200, we call them posters. They're basically the surface street boards that you see all over town. And those we sell in packages, usually five or ten at a time. And then every four weeks, those move. Oh, cool. And, and that's a really great way to get reach and frequency. And as you move around, people think, well, I just saw that over there. Oh, I saw that over there. You can even seem, have, seem to have a bigger reach than you purchased. Same board, right. you've seen it six times. Exactly. And so that's a really, there's, those are almost always available. Um, take some time, though. You know, it, it isn't like you can call us or we come see you and in 10 days you're up, right? Because right. you've got to go through the discovery process. A lot of people jump to price and we say, let's forget about price for a minute. Not that it's not important, but let's figure out what message you want to communicate to everybody. And yeah. then you do a PR uh, uh, class right there for them. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's really good. And then we don't even charge them to develop the creative. 
uh, that's a free service for them. And then we figure out what they need. It can take four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, but we want the best possible ad on the, on the street for them. Somebody decides they want to go digital. How quickly can they get something up? Well, that much more quickly than a traditional static ad because if we can if we can uh, nail down a great design, the right campaign, and then it's digital. Get the get creative made. Uh, sometimes they can be up inside of 10 days, 15 yeah. days, yeah. and then they can change it real time ongoing. We have a lot of social media connective connectivity to that. They right. can do hashtags. They can do customer testimonials. People have bought a car at Hunter Dodge and within minutes of buying that car on a phone load their testimonial to the board. It's really phenomenal and a Isn't picture. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Uh, so what is that worth to Hunter Dodge? Exactly. Yeah. Especially us saying Hunter Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Did we say Hunter Dodge? They're big, important uh, members of the community. Well that's true and they just developed, uh, your plug for Tom and Tim, but it's the largest Ram dealership in the world. So wow. that's pretty cool. Selling pickup trucks in the Antelope Valley. <laughs> Their grandpa would be so proud of them. Yeah, they're no kidding. They're good people. How do people reach Lamar? Well, the best way to reach us, you can go to Lamar.com, you know, and then you, and then you, there's a site on there that says select a location. You just type in Lancaster, or you type in Big Pine, or you type in you know anything, or you look on the map and you'll see Lancaster. That's us. There's about five plants in Southern California. Uh, we're Lancaster, Lamar Lancaster. Um, not many people call this these days because you just Google a number, but it's 9480721 and a 661. But really going to Lamar.com is probably the quickest way. We've been speaking with Jim Moran, the Vice President, General Manager, Lamar Outdoor Advertising, Lancaster, California, USA. Excellent. Thank you.